Good morning. This is Florida Plant Mama coming to you from Zone 9B, Central Florida. And fall is underway. So right now what we're doing is we're getting the, well, new, old, new again flower garden back in shape. Um, so I've already started. I've started by pulling out these wayward zinnias that volunteered and made me feel so happy for the couple months that they bloomed here. But now it's time to pull them out because they were being used as ground cover so that I can use this space for, um, I'm gonna put some lettuce in here, maybe a couple heads of cabbage, and we're gonna start putting some perennials in here as well. We'll keep a small area uh, where I will replant zinnias because I do love them and they grow very quickly. And I love to have all the color of these zinnias. Look at that, oh, in the garden at all times. Um, so many different varieties. Look at that, oh, look at these heads. Then my roses are blooming as well. I keep a nice path around these roses so that there's plenty of space to walk around them so I don't get stuck by the thorns. Um, but I've already started here We've removed the zinnias from here. And in this space, I have uh, Coryoptis. I have um, daisies in here. And I have dahlias grown from tubers. There's a dahlia. Here's a dahlia. And in between, I've just planted some additional things. We got my sweet Annie there. That's gonna grow pretty tall. This is my lime quat here. It's got some fruit on it, so make sure that stays unburied. Here's the aster. Um, I'm gonna leave this cranberry hibiscus here for a little while longer because it offers some good protection, but I'm just gonna weed all around here. And then I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done. As you can see, I'm using the zinnias as a mulch and drop drop in mulch. I don't know which way to say that. Um, but instead of throwing these in the compost bin, I decided to pull them and just lay them down so that they can act as my path in this area without having to purchase any mulch. I know so many of you are like, I can't believe you pulled those zinnias. They were so pretty. But remember, these self-sewed um, or volunteered and they were the huge variety um, from the last time I planted them. And I want to keep a good portion of the zinnias in here more uh, low growing. So I'll get a variety, a new variety to plant that uh, doesn't get quite so tall because what happens is every time there's a tropical storm, these zinnias blow around and unless they're supported, they start to fall over and look a mess like that. Okay. And my OCD will not let that stand. It just will not. So that's what we got so far. Almost done. A little bit more to go. Look at him. Do you see that? Do you see him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Just moseying along. Looking for something to eat. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like he can do much damage, does he? Hmm. Well, you're wrong about that. All right, so we did it. Made our little zinnia brick road, <laughs> zinnia flower road. This is the path. Okay, got the weeds pulled up, got the areas cleaned up a bit. Plan on planting in all of those spaces. Okay, lily grass is starting to flower, isn't it pretty? And then I can take better care of this Florida peach tree because I can really see its base. I gotta remove this paper thing that's unnecessary. Um, I'll get to that. But now I've got all this planting space and I'm gonna put in some more perennials and some lettuce and maybe a little bit of cabbage, whatever I can fit. Oh, and of course we'll throw down beets wherever we can and pray that we can finally grow beets. I have such a challenge growing beets and growing cucumbers. 
chest pressure always gets to them. And for the beets, they're very finicky about the temperatures. Look at that. This is a volunteer amaranth. I couldn't bear to pull that one. So that's our lone survivor in the sea of dead zinnias. Now these will break down, these will feed the soil. And where the heads land, flowers may volunteer again, that's okay. I'll pull them when they are where I don't want them and they'll survive and thrive where I don't like having them. Look, got a little surprise out here today too. I've got goldenrod blooming. I'll harvest that and use that medicinally. The seeds have been sown. Got some different varieties of lettuce. Got some plantain. Got a little bit of kale. Planted out some more perennials in there. There's dahlias and there's coreoptis and there's echinacea. Some daylilies, probably a couple of blanket flower. And I do have some basil in there. And over here, I've got some more lettuce varieties, bib lettuce. Got carrot seeds planted and Swiss chard. So, got a lot accomplished today. Let's see how everything germinates. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.